I tried my luck with LinkedIn. I tried my luck with Indeed. I tried my luck with Le um with Glassdoor. Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. Hey guys, welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. It's 7.25 here EST. Um, how's my day? My day's been good for real. Um, I just want to talk to y'all about why I feel like now is the perfect time to leave retail and find a work from home job if you're gonna work from home. Anyway, now is the perfect time. If you, okay, so if you've decided that you are going to just quit your job and start your business, that's amazing. But let me tell you, not everybody can do that. Not everyone has um, the same risks. You know, some people cannot afford to just quit, just up and quit their job and put all their hope and all their eggs in one basket with something that hasn't come to fruition yet. Um, that's real faith, okay? And then some people are just like, you know, I don't wanna quit my job, but I'm tired of leaving out this house, walking into this place of employment in the midst of this pandemic, I'm tired of it. So let me tell y'all how my life has completely changed because I found my work from home job. I'm gonna elaborate in the next video, but um, I had quit, I didn't quit my retail job, but I stopped going to my place of employment like right when the pandemic started. Because for one, I didn't think it was worth my life. It wasn't worth my family's life. I had parents with health complications and things like that. And then it was just so far, like all the wear and tear on my car, I was just like, it's a dope, right? But it took me a long time to find something else. I'm not gonna get into what I had to do to get to that point. I'm gonna elaborate in the next video because y'all probably won't even believe me if I tell you. Well, y'all probably believe me because a lot of people, a lot of y'all are at that space in your life now. But yeah, so um, I was just exhausted. This was like a year after, over a year after the pandemic started. I was exhausted from having to run around just to make ends meet, paying bills and stuff like that. I had to, it took me like 12 hours to pay one bill, 12 hours of labor a day to pay one bill because I didn't have like an actual you know, job. So I said, okay, I, I do wanna focus on building a business, but I wasn't I wasn't like really sold on the idea of being an entrepreneur. You know, I do wanna focus on this business, but I also need to pay these bills now. Bills are due now. What happened? So yeah, it's like, ah, I was doing some stuff that was really like, never again in my life, okay? like. The amount of effort I put in just to make ends, like with the delivery services, like I just, cha. So, I got on Facebook. Anything you could ever be interested in, if it's a thing, Facebook has a group centered around it. And when I say anything, anything. So I typed in, I was like, um, I typed in work from home jobs, right? I tried my luck with LinkedIn. I tried my luck with Indeed. I tried my luck with Le um with Glassdoor. I tried my luck with sending direct emails. None of that worked. I probably put in like 100 applications, all in my field. I was putting in applications in my field, like public health. Like I was putting in applications within my field. And I was getting back stuff, but it was like very, very, basic things and did not pay well like i wanted to do what i went to school to do and they're just people were losing jobs because of the pandemic so i ain't had no luck it's like i shouldn't even went to get that degree so um yeah so i got on facebook and i typed in work from home jobs and just like that a group popped up now i'm thinking i can't even believe my eyes really because i'm just like bruh you pr i prayed about it i prayed about it so hard i was like what well, please get me out of my situation i am tired like when i had to do them delivery services i literally would start crying like i probably would just like tears just rolling down my face looking crazy pumping gas putting gas in my car before going to do delivery services because i that's not what i was called to do at all and i was tired i i was not going back to work at anybody's 
um, office. I wasn't going to work in anybody's retail store. None of that because that's not what my, I wanted my life to look like. So I was just trying to stay, you know, stay locked in. So I figured out something. So when I found the group, I'm seeing all these positive reviews of people getting their work from home jobs because of this lady. And I'll drop her link in the description box or whatever because she definitely changed my life. Um, so yeah, this lady, she posted um, work from home jobs every day. Like when I say every day, like clockwork. She even had um, something where you could get the alert straight to your um, text messages. First thing that pop up on my phone, if nobody texts me, she did. She, she sent them messages every day. Um, you can get on her email list, stuff like that, or just, you know, turn on your post notifications on her page and like, you will have like, at least 20 um, actual leads, work from home jobs, like leads that will come to your phone every day. And it was up to you to take advantage of them. So it was pretty slow at first when I started applying to the jobs. It was pretty slow. Um, either it was something that I said I, I was not gonna do, like um, anything under $15, I wasn't doing it, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I have adult bills. 20 and up. And that's just the basics. 20 and up. Um, so it took me a minute. I was being picky. So then I just, um, I, I got tired of doing delivery services. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't even quit yet. Just, I didn't even quit yet. I just got tired of doing the delivery services. So one day I said, I'm not doing no more. Yes, I had bills due. Yes, um, it was things that I needed to have done by the end of the month, but I was like, I really feel like giving up on everything right now. So I need to change like my life. I have to change the way I'm doing things. I have to just stop what I'm doing. If this delivery stuff is not working for you, stop doing it. I said, because just like you can get fired from a job, they can ban you from the account. So even if they do ban you from the account, what you gonna do? So I, that day, it was like in the middle of July. I said, you know what? I said, self. Self said, huh? I said, this is our last day doing any type of delivery service. And I was like, all right, cool. I deleted every app off my phone and I went in the house and I just started, I didn't cry y'all, I promise. I just started like applying and really put in at least 18 applications a day. And by the third day, I got at least two hit backs. One of the companies is a job I work for today and the other two are like possibles. So yeah, it was a, it was, the process wasn't even lengthy. It was probably like, I got, I did the application and then four days later I had an interview and then it's the little wait period, like four days where you don't hear back from um, the company. And then you get your acceptance letter, like, within that week so i say that to say there are ways out of your situation if you work in your retail because i i refuse i was willing to die on the hill of me never working in retail again or at least not at that time if i work in retail it's because i own that joint i'm not put that on that atmosphere not me especially not in the holidays don't try to hate with my retail workers, don't y'all hate when Christmas roll around and they play the same holiday music all day, like clockwork. You be tearing me up. So yeah, um, I was just making this video just in case there's somebody out here that's looking for jobs and stuff like that. Um, I know how hard it can be. Even if you go to college, even if you thought you had a plan that was solid, things don't always work out and you have to like get back to the drawing board and that's just what I had to do. I had to like humble myself first because yes, I planned for something else, but natural disasters happen. Uh, people walk away from you. People don't uphold their promises, but you have to take personal responsibility of your situation and you have to flip that joint. You gotta, you, you're responsible for yourself. You're responsible for your growth. Whatever situations you got in, okay, forgive that yourself, forgive the person that may have led to that. Just figure it out. So, if you need a work from home job, and you're tired of working out here in these streets, the internet runs everything. There's ways out of your situation. Um, if you don't have a car, you may need a work from home job. And there's a lot of, a lot of these jobs, like my job, provide equipment. So there's no excuse. Some people even, some companies even provide the internet. So there's really no excuse. All you need 
is a quiet room or somewhere or even if you don't have a quiet room you can get a chat job so really you have no excuse to not get a work from home job you can make your own excuse there's a lot of butts out here of course but just go get your money so and i have to remind myself of, of this story because i'm already ready to quit i'm already ready to start my next journey but i want to remind myself that god got me here so where else can you take me i'm just having faith i'm not leaving until I get my sign from God. Like he told me to stop that delivery services th that day. And that's when I stopped. I'm waiting for him to tell me to jump to the next part because that's when I know I'm ready. It's 30 ground, 30 foundation. So, you know, we lit, we live. Um, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, let me know about your experiences working from home or your journey with finding a work from home job and um let's see if i can help out with that little bit because like i said i know it gets rough especially on holidays i i, I know and it's just me for real. i i know it gets tough um i'm here for you i'm here um hit my dms i'll drop my was it instagram tag on the screen and in the comments but yeah that's it i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day i hope you enjoyed the um, vlogmas videos that's coming after this and yeah i'll catch you on the next video